the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, this is Arif Hussain Salim, a student of translation and interpretation. Today I've come up with my group members to the Cultural Consulate of Islamic Republic of Iran in Islamabad, Pakistan for processing an interview as a project of interpreting skills subject which has been assigned by our university, Namal, the National University of Modern Languages. عرض سلام و ادب و احترام داریم خدمت شما جناب آقای احسان خزایی کارزن محترم فرهنگی جمهوری اسلامی ایران در اسلام آباد پاکستان سپاسگزاریم از شما که وقت ارزشمند و گرانبهاتون رو در اختیار ما قرار دادید و همچنین مفتخر و خدا رو شاکریم از اینکه سعادتی نصیب ما شده تا دقایقی رو خدمت جناب عالی شرف و حضور داشته باشیم جناب خزایی با توجه به اینکه جناب عالی فرهنگ کشورها و ملل گوناگون رو از نزدیک مشاهده نمودید و در بین افراد ملیت های مختلف نیست فعالیت های فرهنگ گسترده ای داشتید لطفا ضمن اشاره به سابقه کاریتون در عرصه فرهنگی و دیپلماسی اهمیت و جایگاه شغلیتون رو نیز برای ما روشن بفرمایید بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم In the name of Allah, I'm Ihsan Khazai, the Cultural Consular of Islamic Republic of Iran in Islamabad, Pakistan. I've been working on this post for a while. Our work is official, moreover, it is legitimate. Conforming to the law of the cultural agreement between Pakistan and Iran, we are working in the Cultural Consulate, which has a longevity of up to 74 years. I have about 30 years of experience in international cultural activities. I had been appointed as a cultural consular in Georgia earlier. I was a book publisher as well as head of two publications in Iran for 10 years and used to do activities such as distributing and translating books. I visited up to 40 countries and participated in cultural, artistic and literary events such as meetings, conferences and international book fairs. I'm interested in cultural fields and presently I have the opportunity to work in Pakistan. I'm really interested in this field because I believe that intercultural relations between nations are the most important relationship. Intercultural relations are prior to all relationships. Intercultural relations are fortified and invulnerable, but other relations such as political and military, these types of relations between different nations could be vulnerable and assailable. Alongside the cultural consulate in Islamabad, there are eight more cultural centers in over provinces and different cities of Pakistan. One of those centers is located in the city of Lahore. This city is also known as the cultural capital of Pakistan. That center has a long history. Mr. Ganji, one of the head of this center, was murdered by extremist groups in Lahore. The same case happened in the cultural center of Multan city. The head was murdered by extremists too. Due to security compliance reason, Iran has not appointed any head for the Multan Cultural Center yet, and the center is run by local employees presently. Other centers are located in Karachi, Quetta, Hyderabad, Peshawar, and Rawalpindi. All of those centers' longevity is up to 50 years. Besides, there is a center called the Research Center of Iran and Pakistan. This center has done many services. 17,300 copies of antiquarian and traditional manuscripts and documents are kept in this center. Almost 90% of those copies are written in Persian, but others are written in Urdu and English. By reading them, we will realize the depth of cultural relations between Iran and Pakistan as well as the subcontinent. How well the bond uh, of Asian nations, especially uh, uh, Pakistan and Iran, 
um, turning to political and social convergence. We can't say that cultural relations are depend on other relations. Cultural relations have their own values and they are autonomous. Military, economical, and political relations are more significant, but cultural relations are prior to all of them. In many cases, cultural relations assist other relations with their advancement and beget other relations more allegiant. Sometimes there are profound barriers and obstacles which lead nations to have no any military, economical and political relations and bounds with each other. Just like the case of between Iran and America, Iran and Israel, but still you can find cultural relations between them. Nations of Middle East have resemblance and symmetries in various fields such as religion and beliefs, hijab, tradition, and etc. It is essential to nations of Middle East to clarify and emphasize their resemblance and similarities. By this way, nations of Middle East get apathy to advancement their relations as well as they will not be under influence of negative propaganda against the nations of Middle East. What do you think of the challenges facing cultural diplomacy? Uh, and, and what solutions do you suggest to take the political top region uh, closer together? To be honest, cultural diplomacy has no any challenges. Challenges arise if we try to follow cultural diplomacy in a irrational way. We want to set up cultural diplomacy by assistant resemblances, otherwise it was not called cultural diplomacy. If we enter into a door of resemblances, we will not face any challenges if we follow cultural diplomacy in an irrational way. Islamic leaders and scholars of Islamic nations seek unity and integration. Resemblance are in majority than discrepancy among Muslim nations and their religion. In despite of unity and integration between Muslims, media and propaganda emphasizes their discrepancies and conflicts. It demonstrates that oppositionists of Islam are in seek of an elite unity. Earlier, they have been displaying it in straightforward in their speech. However, presently, they represent it in configuration of art like movies and dramas. For example, there is a movie called Lady of a Heaven produced by order of Shirazi sect in association with British government. The appearance of the movie refers to be a historical event, but in fact, it lead discrepancies and conflicts among Muslim nations, especially between Shia and Sunni, and it would affect unity and integration. By grace of Allah, leaders and Islamic scholars were aware of these sedition and devilry, and fortunately they diffused it. What is your suggestion uh, and what is your opinion to, to the students of translation, the language translation and uh, what is your opinion for them? Uh, because uh, most of them will uh, definitely work uh, in diplomatic and cultural fields uh, in your future. The most significant point of translation is the observance of fiduciary of a text. Other important point is that a translator is required to do translate with full passion, enthusiasm and appetite. It should not be viewed as a business and financial resources. If we observe and consider these significant points, our translation must be more unexceptionable and full-scale.
Translation has this potential to affect cultural relations as well. Uh, for example, in translating a novel, we are facing various words for translating a word. We are required to use those which are more nearest to the source text. It helps us in progress of translation. By this way, we can transfer and elucidate our culture more flawlessly. Students of translation should join and participate in translators' committees. They are demanded to communicate to other translators to learn more about different cultures. Damal University has contracts and uh, cooperation with the cultural consulate, Tehran University and other Iranian universities. They cooperate in extending science committees, arrange and organize workshops and etc. Namal is a noteworthy and unique university in concerning to learn languages. I wish success for all language students of Namal, especially students of translation and interpretation. Thank you so much uh, for giving us precious time and uh, you gave a really good message to our youth and uh, students of translation language translation. Uh, I really appreciate you gave us uh, your precious time. Thank you so much, sir. Uh,